welcome to Apple at Iris Genius on the YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over through the process on how to create a free Apple developer account for side loading apps, basically testing your apps uh, on your iOS devices, your TV OS, uh, which is your Apple TV, your watch OS, which is your Apple watch uh, devices. Uh, and then this is only to create a free developer account so you can create and test or beta test your physical apps before you actually submit it to Apple. Now again, this is a free account. This does not give you the opportunity to upload actual apps that you've tested and you want to make available on the Mac App Store or the Apple TV Store or the iTunes Store related to the iOS apps. Uh, so you can't do any of that until you actually pay for a full version, which is normally a hundred dollars So what we're gonna do is just create an account. I have not created an account yet. So I'm um, going to go ahead and do that now as we speak as I go to the website of developer.apple.com Is here and then basically it states right here submit your apps download Xcode 8 which you need to do on a Mac You cannot do it on a Windows uh, you might be on a virtual on a Windows uh, with a virtual Mac on a Windows computer. I have not done that successfully. So uh, if you able to make it work, put the comments down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, you can also test your apps by putting them into your devices. Your device does not need to be in a beta test. Does not need. It can be the full legit version. Uh, does not need to be jailbroken or so forth it's you know whatever the os you're running like i'm running 10.3 right now uh, i can just upload a side loading app and see if it works crashes or does something to my phone so but that'll be another video on how to side load an app that you've created so we're going to go ahead and continue so once you're at developer.apple.com you want to select an account so if you have an Apple ID account like you do purchasing or you probably use for iCloud or so forth you can use that existing app uh, developer account if you want to use a whole completely different one then you're more than welcome to do that as well but if you do not have any Apple ID at all then you need to go ahead and select on create Apple ID once Apple ID opens up this will come up and you would want to just go ahead and fill in all the appropriate fields and information uh, to have an Apple ID, you need to put in your email, whichever email that might be using, your password, your name, birthday, security questions, etc. And then once you hit continue at the very bottom, that Apple ID will become available within like two, three minutes. Once that's done, you can go back to, and then what you just need to make sure is once your Apple ID is created, you can check the confirmation in your personal email, wherever that email might be associated to. Then you go back to developer.apple.com as you can see I've done here. You want to select on account. So then once you enter your email and password as I've shown here, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Then it's going to go through the terms and agreement. And basically this Apple ID is being used in a sign in device. Yes, go ahead. So because I have set up on our account is a two step process for verification. This is why this comes up. If you do not have the two-step verification, uh, then you will not be prompted with this information. So we're gonna hit continue. So, so now here you're at the Apple developer agreement. You wanna go ahead and log in here. Uh, you wanna select on by checking this box. You are welcome to select this box here at the bottom where it says you like to receive marketing emails to stay up to date with Apple Developer News. You don't technically have to, but we're gonna go ahead and do this so that my daughter would get updated information. Yes, at the very top right, it does show my name because it is registered under my name because it's registered under my credit card. Not that that is the importance of this video, just so you won't be confused of, wait a second, weren't you just logging in with one person? Now it shows another person. So you wanna go ahead and select on submit. And then once you submit, then you'll be able to see this login. So you can download tools, you can build your first app, etc. So then at this point, you will need to go ahead and select on Xcode. And you can see I've already downloaded Xcode on the Mac. Uh, this is version 8.3, latest and greatest. Now, she would need to do before she 
opens and starts creating apps, shooting to select on Xcode, top left, select on preferences. In this preference in section, under the account, you'll have to enter plus sign, Apple ID, put in the Apple ID that you just registered for the developer account. Now, there might be a two-step verification here because uh, I have two-step verification on my on our accounts so but normally when you hit sign in and if you don't have two steps set up you don't have to worry about it and then there you go now your free developer account is created and added to the xcode so now you're more than welcome just to go ahead and create a bunch of side side loading apps so that we can see them on that mac app store or app store or ios store at tv os now that your email that is created for the developer account, the free account, is linked to your Xcode, now you are more than welcome to start creating your apps. All right, well, that concludes our video of the how to create your de free developer account on the Apple to iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe, put in your comments down below if you had any additional questions. And in a future video, we'll do how to do side loading apps to test on your iOS devices. Thanks for visiting.